So good afternoon everyone, my name is Paula Gilmore and I am the host of CPD Live and the publisher at CPD for me. Today's session is the ethical hypotheticals for small and boutique firms. Your speaker is Steve Mark, who is a lawyer by profession, having initially studied in America, the country of his birth and subsequently in Australia. He's also the former Legal Services Commissioner. For today's session, we're going to discuss five ethical hypotheticals for smaller boutique firms. Three members of the same family are injured in the same bathroom on three separate occasions. They go to a solicitor who sees all three at each appointment. When commencing court action, the court decides to hear the three cases together as the evidence in one would be the evidence in each, at least in terms of liability. The solicitor charges each client full fare for each appointment and each day in court. What would you do? See, this is a personal injury action. And uh, as some of your people said, that uh, it's really important that you be aware, you know, that witnesses could be actually adverse to one another, even though these three members are members of the same family uh, and they've all been injured on separate occasions and the liability issues will all be the same. Um, that probably the, the damages issues won't be. Number five, you represent the mother in childcare proceedings. The child was removed from the mother because of the mother's poor mental health and suicide tendencies. The mother's mental health has now been stable for some time and the mother is now pressing for the return of the children on this basis. During a telephone conversation with you, the mother makes vague comments indicating possible self-harm. What do you do? Yes, you must act in the best interest of a, client, of a child. That's certainly the case. Um, but you, your primary duty, of course, is to the court, which is why you have to so act. Um, in this sort of a situation, when there is a, a question of the mental health of a client, what do you do? Um, if, one thing is, as one of your things, you're not, you're, you're not a psychologist, you're not a psychiatrist, you're a lawyer. So you cannot make an assessment as to mental health, but you have experience. 